No, I, I don't see IPL having any influence on World Cup selection. Uh, I think that will be um, a very, very um, radical uh, sort of an analysis and we need to have a solid team. Um, before we head into the IPL, we need to be absolutely clear as to what uh, we want during the World Cup. And I don't see anything changing because of how the IPL goes for any of the players. If if one or two players doesn't have a good IPL season, doesn't mean they're out of the picture for the World Cup, you know. So, uh, yeah, those things are not going to matter. Well, if if that's the requirement of the team at a particular stage in the game or um, before a particular game, I'm more than happy to do it. Uh, I've batted a lot of times at number four, and um, so I don't necessarily need to try it out because I've done that a lot in the past, and my game doesn't change uh, much from number three to four because template is quite similar and um, in any given situation I ba back myself to play the game that I know um, so yeah if, if the team wants it at any stage I'm more than happy to do it. Look we'll have to think of the combinations I don't um, think that playing a bowler less is a good idea or a good option because uh, with the extra fielder until the 40th over it becomes very difficult um, to sort of get few guys to chip in with a few overs here and there so um, we'll have to work around the batting combination to try and give game time to the guys that we want to but I don't see the bowling combination changing because of that. KL when he plays well is, is operating at a different level I feel. Um, we've seen him do that in the IPL last year and we've seen him do that in patches over the last uh, season that we played as a team so hopefully he can uh, keep batting like that because it's, it's very difficult to find a, a consistent player who can play good cricketing shots and still you know, win your games or strike over 140, 150, which I think is a rare ability to have and he has all the shots and he's got a, he's got a solid game as well. So hopefully he can build on this, um, you know, get some more um, innings under his belt and, and play as much cricket as possible. And then, um, you know, it'll be interesting to see what happens in the final World Cup squad. But yeah, definitely, he's, he's definitely made a strong case for himself. And um, it's good that he's in, he's in great nick and hopefully he can carry that forward. Not really. I mean, both teams know each other really well. And we were talking today at practice as well that Australia probably has a better idea of playing in Indian conditions because of the number of guys that have been playing IPL for two months of the year. and practicing what they need to uh, every time they come here so they're pretty used to um, playing in these conditions and knowing how to play in these conditions so we'll, we'll have to be at our absolute best um, and nothing can be taken lightly uh, an Australian team on their day when they play well they feel well they bat well they bowl well and they do everything you know to precise detail so uh, as an opposition you have to be better than that and that's something that we have done in the past as a team and it's just about getting into that zone again and 11 guys pushing forward and trying to win every ball for the team is what's going to take to beat a side.